<clears throat> Happy National Cheese Day. How lucky are we to be the Chef Fabio Viviani here at Portico at Del Lago Resort and Casino. Thank you for joining us. How lucky we are to be here with you and cheeses. Now, cheese is my favorite food. It's one of yours, right? It's one of my favorite foods. Growing up in Italy, of course, we had all kinds of cheeses from mild to sharp, from sweet to pungent. And we brought the culture of cheese and that tradition to our Portico restaurant in the middle of Finger Lakes, because you guys are crazy <laughs> for cheese. We are crazy for cheese. We can't get enough of it. And Fabio has been generous yes. enough to show us a variety of cheese that he has here at the restaurant. So over here we have some uh, we have some Italian and we yes. have some local. Uh, we have a Crescenza. I want, I want you to try it. I would love it. to try some of It's this. very, very oh. mild and it's extremely <laughs> creamy. Then... Oh, that's so delicious. Delicious. Wow. And it's very mild, right? It is. It's mm -hmm. not too pungent, very it's simple. not too strong. And then we go to some of the local staples. Mm -hmm. This is what a, a pecorino would be in Italy, yes. made from cow's milk. Great minerality, good amount of salt, not overwhelming. Yes. No one, in my mind, aged cheese better than your very local Miranda cheese. This is what crazy good wants to be when it dies and go to heaven. <laughs> I mean, Look at so, that cross section too. All right. There's a lot going on there. So please. It's, yeah. it's pungent, it's strong, Miranda. and it's locally raised, grown, and made. And it blows your a little bit. Now, I have to ask a question, because I know Italians make some of the best cheese in the world. You know the French can make their blue and their... They have great cheese yeah. in France. I'm not going to take that away. <laughs> we have better cars, we have better wine, we play soccer better, and we have better clothing. But France has some amazing cheese. Case closed. Case closed. Now, Fabio, you're going to be making one of the dishes here available yes. to anyone who comes here to Portico. Yes, which is our carbonara. Okay, let's go check it out. Please, of course. So very easy. First and foremost, we throw the pasta in the water. This is some short rigatoni. Mm -hmm. We do all our fresh pasta in house. Homemade. Oh, everything in this place is homemade. Wow. We we'll get a scratch, eggs, yeah. and flour, and then we make the pasta. We throw the pasta in, and then in a hot pan. We're gonna sear some pork belly. You boil the oil. Now we're gonna get the pancetta, which is nice and caramelized. This sauce is made with cream, milk, broth, and lots of Italian grana padano and parmigiano reggiano cheese. We're gonna put some water in it. We're gonna put some water. And we're gonna grate some local cow's milk cheese in. This is the one you showed us before. This is the one I showed you before. So a good amount on it, right? It doesn't skimp. No, there is no reason for skimping. Now we got these. Oh. And it goes into the jar. Like that. Okay. Then, we have the pasta. So everything fits into the jar. Roasted Brussels sprouts on top. Then we have egg yolk. Then we're gonna get a great amount of cheese on top of it. See that? Close it. Then we are right to the table. Yes. We go like this. Shake and bake. Just cooking the egg yolk right in there. Just cooking the egg yolk right in there. And now the perfect showcase pasta. Oh my gosh. It's done. It's perfect. Almost. Almost, he says. Local, <laughs> local cheese. Even more. Oh, man. That's, That's it. it. So easy. Oh. Get a bite. I'm going to get some of the pork belly and Brussels sprouts right in here. Good. Tremendous. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you so much, guys. Oh. Happy Cheese Day. National Cheese Happy Day. Happy National Cheese Day.